Hello everyone and welcome, and yes, we're going to do a pack opening now, finally, after not having uh, access to the internet for over a week, or almost a week, so no, it's more than a week, um, yeah, let's have a look, uh, where do we buy packs, what am I doing, yeah, here we go, packs, uh, how many should we buy? Well, how many do we have at the moment? We want 60 packs. We have at the moment 10 packs, so we'll buy another 60. Another 50, rather. As a free-to-play player, we only just buy the regular pack. This is so annoying, this interface. So for those who don't know how to do it, uh, you can just double I'm gonna show you what happens here. This is for two packs, three packs, that's only for money. Or one pack. Well I don't want to keep going click click click. So you double double click the one pack, you can type in the number of packs you want. Let's get fifty. There we go. Five thousand packs. <laughs> Five thousand packs. 5,000 gold, which is 50 packs. And let's get on with it. Let's see what's going on with these new packs. Uh, any special strategies? How to open them? No, let's open the other ones first. So we get any duplicates out of the way. That's from today's Tavern Ball, which you've just seen the video of. I'm sure you're all ahead of me for once. Any new packs? Right, interesting. So, right, uh, reduce cost of the highest cost spell in your hand by one. Interesting. That's for big spell mage. Uh, Paladin spell giving me two one to one shield gains life still to the end of the turn. There's like a, there's a Paladin uh, legendary which will benefit from that, which like, doubles any buffs you put on it. That'd be really powerful in that. Deck, uh, Stormpike Quartermaster, after you cast a spell, give a random minion in your hand 1-1. One, one. Okay, which one minion restore health to your hero equal to its cost. Deal 5. Randomly spill unless all the enemies repeatable this turn. So it's a bit like the um, uh, 7 mana spell for Demon Hunter, which chooses seven one ones with rush and if they will die off then it does it again some of the five five defender with taunt doesn't sound very special pattern if you hear it was healed this turn some another oh that makes a big difference that's very good for defensive pattern deck reason meaning we draw a card okay it's pretty good oh, shaman free shaman Give your minions one attack whenever this takes damage. Yes, yeah, you could play a few boars or something in wild. Ping this a couple of times. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way we can use that. Discover just Jethro Minion for another class. It costs two less. Burger Rogue, I love Burger Rogue, but Hearthstone is not the game for Burger Rogue to be good in. Um, if if Hearthstone wouldn't have a certain number of cards which basically make the game too fast for a burglar rogue then burglar would be so much fun and it would be good but unfortunately it's all about tempo well aggro now scrapsmith taunt add two two four grants with taunt to your hand interesting it's Good for Taunt Warrior, I guess. Which I don't think is a thing at the moment. It's interesting, we're only getting a... Uh, we are only getting a uh, Fractured... Uh, fractured Altrack Valley cards at the moment. Okay, Taunt, summon two, two, four cups with Taunt. That's a Death Rattle, that's, that's pretty good, that's still like... Scavenging Hyena, just even better. 
Um, deal eight damage to random men. I've seen this card before. This is in the OTK, uh, Warlock OTK deck. Give a mini 2 2, then give your beast 1 1. Interesting. It could work with a, a zoo build. At the end of your turn, summon a 3 4 elemental that freezes lost 3 turns. That's pretty good. That's 4 mana for 9 12 in stats over 3 turns. Add 2 armor scraps to your hand that give 2 health to a minion. Ugh. Not one of those again, like a spare parts type minion. Okay, your next hero power costs a zero. It freezes the target. Ah, honorable kill. It's an annoying keyword, which is really hard to use. Draw a weapon. Wow. The wind chill and wet it, wet it to your hand. It's interesting. Okay. Fine. Let's get on with the actual uh action abstract packs. Cool to see oh, that's one of the combo. You play it after three. You can actually play it turn two with a foxy forward McCoy. That's the highest cost fell spell from your hand. That's again interesting. You might have some uses. Dire Frost Wolf Stealth. Summon a 2 2 Wolf for Stealth. That's not bad. Your minions cost 2 less this turn, but not less than 1. Wow. Uh, so if you've got a few 3 cost minions, they can come out quickly, but I'm not sure why Warrior would be using that. Oh yeah, Pirate Warrior. That could work very well, Pirate Warrior. You need to have at least three minutes to make it worthwhile though. Give all means in hand, 2-2. Two, two. What on earth are these stats though? Six mana, nine two, that's weird. Whenever a friendly man dies, getting one attack. It's slow. Uh, Honorable kill coming in the summer 2 2 is still a terrible card. Uh, end of your turn, destroy your lowest attack minion to summon a 4 4 shade. Ah, alright. Could be good. Where's my first legendary? Summon the lowest cost minion in your hand. What? That's pathetic. I'm actually playing only big minions. Well, that's not so bad. Copy fell spell in your hand. Oh, what's this? Add a copy of a copy of a seven, eight, nine, ten cost spell in your deck to your hand. This is a big spell mage, and you get three or potentially four copies of of, of some very big spells. Nice. Your opponent's next spell costs two more. So this is effectively... If you get the honorable kill, this pays for itself. Because you waste two mana. But they have to waste two mana as well. Oh, we've got... The, oh! Apparently this is one of the best uh, heroes. Red Leech Tamsin. Shuffle three, do three damage to all means. Shuffle three rifts into your deck and draw three cards. Half of six, six, six is three, three, three. I wonder if that's got anything to do with it. Do one damage to all minions, or any minions gain the minions attack. So if he's got like a couple of five ones, you put this down, and this becomes a five mana 12 eight. That has potential, but very situational. Giving plus two health and set its attack to be equal to its health. Oh, no way. That means in the fire priest is back. Ah. Let's see if someone finds a deck for it. 
of this ta attacks a minion, summon a 5 5 defender with taunt. Okay, that's very similar to um, the what's it? I can't remember, but it's, it was a Rastakhan card. But you rush in and you overkill. And then you summon the 5 5 uh, like Rhino or something like that. Obviously, your attack summon 2 1 1 Fell Wings. Okay, the after a minute attacks. A place a minion attack it. Oh my goodness, what is that? Two mana for two, but it's got a massive vulnerability. Okay, it's still not too bad. It's interesting if someone could get that in there. Problem is, the decks are so high value today. I mean, each card does so much. This, if it was played on curve, wouldn't be too bad. Problem is, what you can do turn seven, you're going to play this. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Tomb Freeze any camp to damage by this minion. Wow, that's a six mana 210 taunt. So it's basically it's purely for freezing. Okay, I think we've seen this one. Oh, the Death Rattles trigger twice. No, that's for three turns. That's uh, what they're using the owl. Look. Um, I think we've seen these all before. Um, especially the honorable kill that reduces the cost of spells in hand by one. It's a pretty good card. Two epics. Ice trap, that's a new uh, hunter spell. When your opponent casts a, a spell, return to their hand, it costs one more. Yeah. Transform all minion into 1-1 one, one sheep. That is a horrible card. That can ruin anyone's day. That's, that's better than a board clear in some cases. Wow. It's like a silence. Um, well, I guess Token Drew that might not be so good. He still has his tokens. What's this? Russian next beast costs two less. Alright. And at the end of your turn, cost another spell from your deck. Last three turns. That's interesting. Okay, this weapon here. The damage equal to your hero's attack to the enemy hero. Hmm. So you can actually, this is not too bad actually, because you can either play this as a 1-3 or a 2-3 or if you use your hero power on the same turn. And that can push on damage to the hero. I should play a taunt minion, draw a card. Wow, that's interesting. So it's all like a taunt warrior is coming back. As you turn, deal one damage to all minions, last three turns, okay. Freeze any character damaged by this minion. We've seen this. Okay, 10 down, 50 to go. We'll get through these quickly. Um, well, holy and shadow spell. Uh, that looks terrible. An horrible kill. Give you one mana, three, two, very highly conditioned. I guess no, it's the one mana, one, three. I 
Fac zic ca să speu... Ok... If you receive the access tax, my five retort, ah, deal three redemption minion, honorable kill summon a three three copy of it. I faced this in uh, my jewels run recently. Very annoying. Yeah, I actually got very good minion off of that. If your opponent has two more minions, deal one damage to all enemy minions. Okay. Conditional battle cry. Give your other minions divine shield. But again, it doesn't come with rush. How can you make that work? So the attack and health of all minions in both players' hands. That's incredible. That could mess up some people's plans big time. Double agent, if you're holding a card from another class, summon a copy of this like that. Some support for uh, Burgle Rogue. Epic Snowden, destroy damage minion, freeze all other minions. Very interesting warrior card. Like a freeze, freeze warrior. Damage Warrior card. You play five cards from other classes you play this game. That's like a mini test screaming. Nice. Some level four one imp. Interesting. I will kill game one one imp. You see a card like that in there. In jewels, it's a 1 5, which is win fury against two attack each time it kills. Uh, 2 1, I think. Mm. Glasses for a spell gain, do too. That looks pretty good in first deck. You get a couple of frost spells that makes it into an eight and nine. Let's say something like six mana. Cast the other choice from the last choose one spell that you've cast. Nice. You shouldn't feel bad about having to choose. There's the bad hash gaffer. After a friendly minion is healed, give it plus two attack. Yeah. Nice situational persistent effect card too. Fortunately these should have come back a year and a half ago. Three rares. The minions have one attack last three turns. Ah, only for Demon Hunter. Two four twos, one dies, the other one gets summoned. If it dies this turn. Honorable kill, this is a good uh, anti giant tech. <laughs> Do eight damage to them here. Give me a plus two, then set its attack to be equal to its health. Again, we said that's um, divine spirit or inner fire. Priest. Two more minions to one damage one and minions conditional AOE. Plus one less for each card you've added to your hand from another class. This is a burglary card. Pretty good actually. It'd easily be like a three mana four five rush. 
Um, where's all other minions here? One, one for each frozen minion. That could be huge. Wow. That's a zoo day. That's huge. <clears throat> See you there. Is that secret again? Is it a little mini savage or we just saw there add one attack to all minions this turn? If you control the secret, gain one one and stealth. So this is a five three mana five four. Wow, that's really good. If you've got a secret deck, yeah. If you control two other minions, gain two two. Some pretty good cards, some of the broken cards actually, for over a year or two ago. Get Wind Fury, Oof. that's conditional isn't it? Uh, if there's lots of three health minions in the meta, then maybe that is good. First one for each card you played this turn. Yeah, interesting. Uh, yeah, it's only a 3-3. Uh, well, I guess if it's any better, then Rogue's going to be broken again. After you play Death Rattle, minion become a 2-2 two -two copy with Rush. Ah, uh, this is how you play the... What's it called? The, the Boar Rogue. Yeah, one ball rig. So you get some extra balls. Uh, I can wonder if we do many dice can even attack. We've seen these before. So I assume we've got all the standard cards because we're getting doubles now. Yeah. So we're looking at the rares now. Your next choose one card costs two less. Interesting, not bad. It's kind of a pay, pay for yourself tempo card, but do you really want to use the slot up in your deck? That's a problem. You can have cards which effectively cost zero, but would you put a, um, a tiny fin in your deck in the current meta? Some of the 3 3 that are freezes. Interesting. Oh. Shuffling the rifts in here. This is why you don't buy packs because look, <laughs> one legendary so far, that was a guaranteed one. If you hold it, demon costs five or more, gain one, two. Doesn't quite work with big demon where you want to be summoning demons. Shuffle the rifts in. Nice eggs there. The next beast cost two less. So we've seen that. Skull and eight cost me to summon and freeze it. Oh, because it costs six. I guess if it's Proto Jake, that's not bad. Here you go, let's build a snowman, it's a mage spell. Summon 3 3. Snowman that freezes. Add the build a snow brute to your hands. Whatever snow brute is. Not a bad pack. Two golden, sir. Oh, at the end of your turn, eat a random enemy minion and gain the stats. Wow, that's a really powerful card. It's a persistent effect. Uh, assassinate. With, uh, with gaining stats as well. Got a friendly beast that died this game and summon it. 
It's more there for a big beast sort of thing. That could work with Rat King actually. <clears throat> Deal five damage to all minions. Cost one less for each armor. So you've got a lot of armor. It's an amazing area of effect. Five damage. Your minions cost two less, but not less than one. That's only for this turn. Okay. Two thirds of the way through. On average, we should have a legendary bat now. And on cue, we do. We got a demon hunter one. Okay, summon two, one, four demons with a rush. Improved by your hero attacks this game. I assume it means there's more than two. Not that there are three fives or anything like that. Okay, I'm not sure what the hero power is for that. Okay. Ooh. Iron Deep Trog. After your opponent's cast a spell, someone copy this. And that means if you buff it, as you see in the buffer paladin, or the Librum paladin, it copies, including the Librum itself. Let's finish off now. Another epic, freeze two random enemy minions, okay. <laughs> Deal damage equal to this minions attack to all enemy minions. So if you buff that, well, especially with a new card, that's a seven AOE, that's a nasty card. Ooh, this could make well this is like a faceless was it faceless manipulator so I can't remember what it's called. The two six which uh taunt death rattle, you have to kill it or you can't get through to the other guy's face once you kill it, destroy one of your minions. So that seems to be this year's control priest card. It was interesting. Give it after you summon a minion, give it two two. Okay. Oh lost three two. Oh wow. That's amazing. Yeah, or is it? Lost three turns. Obviously it's two point six turns because you can only have six men to play maximum. After playing the card itself, you're holding first spell here, five armor, very defensive minded there. You took five or more damage per turn, this costs one. Oh, come on, really? You better than that. I guess it's situational. Ooh, another legendary. Rush, your minions have horrible kill, summon a 2-2 two -two wyvern with a rush. So if you've got lots of minions on board, play this with them, help them do some good trades, do some 2-2 two -two wyverns with rush, which again... Ah, no, they don't get the horrible kill. Okay, good. Um, Keyword. Deal three damage on the kill your person because three more. Yeah, I've seen that. That's a nice one, that's a hunter. This is an effect for three turns card. It gets you a one cost uh, secret. 
And he's the one attack and lost three times there. Wow. That's pretty good in the Suicide Swarm Demon Hunter. Twice as much damage. The internal on that side of the next turn lose five armor. What a strange one. So strange. Gold necklace is nice. Draw a spell, deal two damage. All enemies, if it's first put there, do one more. It's okay for some sort of spell synergy here. So yeah, it's the end of your turn, draw secrets at a cost to one. So basically you're doing two to draw three secrets. In total you'll be spending five mana on this card. Plus the three secrets is five mana for six mana's worth of secrets. But you also get to draw lots of cards, which traditionally Hunters had massive problems with. <clears throat> Just looking for epics and legendaries now. Everything else is just dust. Okay, three legendaries. We can still get a fourth one. Three is probably about average. One every twenty. As I say, nothing too special about this expansion. Maybe a free shaman, burger rug, buff panda is getting a lot of uh, support. Cost one less for each friend, you mean that's died this game? Yeah, that definitely works with a uh, Zoo Demon Hunter. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. How much collection do I have now? Uh, one percent of our track actually is our track value. T ten out of how many legendaries? Six out of twenty-five. Give us those start. I guarantee two. One in the rewards track and one in the once the horde uh, alliance versus horde thing finishes. I can get the other one. So there's 135 different cards. I don't have uh, 34 of them, and we just found that 19 of them are legendaries. Warlock cards, we need two more Warlock cards, we need two more Demon Hunter cards. Two more Warrior cards. Three more druids cards. Three more hunter cards. Three more mage cards. Same with paladin. And same with the rogue and shaman. I mean, the six regular ones, I assume they're epics and legendaries. These are priest cards. Oh, we've got six priest cards. How embarrassing. That's it. Okay. So, Knight Captain. Then, Knight Champion, the Ten Commander, Commander, Marshal, Field Marshal, Grand Marshal. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, so we quickly have a look. Let's see what we. We're not going to disenchant anything unless some of this stuff gets nerfed in the next couple of weeks, and we get full refunds. So don't dust your cards yet. For that reason, I can't see any cards being nerfed. To be honest. So here's the here's the freeze shaman thing going on here. I'll look have a look at them in my own time. Yes, yeah, not living up to the hype of any expansions. Pretty poor expansion this. Cars are not very good, they look very situation, very specific. Anyway. Yeah, as we said, we're not going to do that now. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. That's uh, pack opening. We've got three legendaries. This pack opening, let's have a quick look at them. Legendary and specific to all track rally. So we got the Steven Hunter one, right? So it's hero powers to attack this turn. Nice after friendly minion attacks, refresh this. So if you've got a whole load of swarms, has he got seven minions on board? You can theoretically play this seven times. It's 14, possibly 16 damage. Hmm. That's the one which gives you millions of honorable kill. Call upon the power of the elements. How does this work? Call upon the elements will be different every turn. The elements crack through Brukan's veins. And his life flashed before his eyes. He knew this moment would come, but he wondered had he given them enough. Okay. It's okay, it's only pretend. So we've got this one, very interesting one. We've got less, 15 less health. And this one we know is. If this costs less than uh, every mini deck, reduce the cost by three. This costs five less, actually. Interesting. This could cost five mana. And then it becomes three mana. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.